Did you know that aloha means hello and goodbye? Hey y'all, I'm out here in the Ouachita National Forest in Arkansas. It's a really beautiful place out here. My friend is over at the camp uh, taking a nap. We've been swimming all day and just throwing rocks and shit. <laughs> it's really beautiful out here and it's really relaxing. It's a nice break from all the bullshit back home, you know? Yeah, just a little bit. Fuck them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That one can see you, by the way. Ooh. Have some water in the magic board. Labor package in it. I honestly wish every day could just be like this. I could live out in the middle of nowhere like Ted K. It's just so nice. It's so peaceful. The birds are chirping. And I've seen a bunch of animals. I've seen deer. We may see a bear. We went about five miles off the road into the, into the national forest. You know, This is all just land that nobody really gives a shit about. And I have to say, we've been picking up a lot of trash that we find. If you go camping, pick up your fucking trash, man. Be an adult. You know, be a grown-ass man. But all right, let's do some exploring. Supposedly in the Little Missouri, there's trout and smallmouth bass, but we haven't really seen any. We saw a uh, bass earlier, we think. We went over to the Albert Pike Recreation Area and tried to fish, but we, there was no luck, really. Ugh. So over here is an ice stream right by our campsite. It's way back there. Uh, the river runs right through it, and we got a little stream on the side to get some fresh water. We haven't seen many fish, but we have seen a lot of big-ass tadpoles. We think there's bullfrogs out here, but we haven't seen any. Sorry, I tripped a little bit. Yeah, I think any time I take off work, I'm probably just going to spend it camping because, like, what else am I going to do? Take a cruise or go to Disneyland? Who the hell do I look like, you know? <laughs> oh, here's a nice calm area over here. Going over some treacherous terrain. We saw a little tiny snake earlier. I'm not worried about it. Let's see. You can see stuff swimming around, minnows and tadpoles. Some really dense forest over here. Here's a deeper part with all the rocks. It was about a seven hour drive for us. We came from Houston, Texas, so. It wasn't that bad though, I just powered through it and... Uh, near this place at the aforementioned Albert Pike Recreation Area, I think it was 2004, I'm probably wrong on that. It was a long time ago, not that long, but um, there was some Boy Scouts camping out and in the middle of the night there was a flash flood and it killed a lot of them and it was such a tragedy that they shut down the campground. 
which is probably for the best. But that's really fucking sad, man. It's hard to be a bummer. Tomorrow we're going to get into some target shooting and we may go somewhere else and try to go fishing, but we've kind of just been hanging out, you know? It's a vacation. Who the hell cares? Also, please subscribe. <laughs> now we are going to see which rock can make the biggest splash. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh, that was pretty good. Uh, all right. One, two, three. This is real invigorating content. One, two, three. Wow. All right, one more for the road. I think we have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. It's kind of crazy to think about that this was just life for, you know, tens of thousands of years, just hanging out, hunting, collecting food, fishing, you know, spearing, random bullshit it's honestly a pretty sick way of living like i would totally do that man just be a caveman have cave wife you know <laughs> sorry i got a little silly all right we're gonna start walking in some water now you can see my face and see how cold it is it's about 70 degrees not exactly but pretty close Ooh, ooh, ooh. i got some tadpole action hold on Look at these big boys. Here, I'm going to scare them off. See how fast that was? It seems that we are not an impasse. I'm going to have to go around. Watching out for snakes, too. If I die, I'll get it on camera. I also really don't want to trip because I have my phone, my microphones. I have my Smith & Wesson Model 10. That's a pretty penny. I honestly think it should be required to do this shit, like, at least once a year. For at least young people, you know, to get out, get off them damn phones. It's nice to have a little adventure in your life, man, you know? Really feel life on the edge. Not really, you know, a cooler full of water and soda and food, snacks. I don't think the Indians had hot Cheetos. Native Americans, I'm sorry. I'm trying. It's kind of crazy, the place I was talking about. It's called the Albert Pike Recreation Area. That's the guy who... He didn't start the KKK, but he was instrumental in making it an organization. And he was also the leader of the Freemasons and some other shady stuff that you can watch some conspiracy videos about. There's a lot of rocks over here, too. It's mountains, obviously, so what fucking else would there be? All right, y'all. I'm going to go back to camp and hang out. Y'all have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow for target shooting. Thank you. So I actually start fires with these uh, tea lights. They're really cheap. You can get them at Dollar General or Walmart or whatever, but you just light the candle. Boom. That starts burning. You know, little stuff until it starts burning.
after a while, you know, you get it going. Put some more logs on there and it starts lighting up. Hi, we're out here. I'm target shooting. I have my AR-15. I guess let's go. This is my high power clone. It's a gear son. Yeah. Yeah, like you said, almost think it's like a bullet. Take a little break. Yeah, because how much ammo we probably ran through that's yeah. a lot. So, um, we can just come back with some pistols and a shotgun. Yeah. Maybe the AR if you want to. Yeah, that'd if be If you want to check, check it out. That'd be good to try. Uh, I don't know. Let's try to pick up as many shells as we can. Yeah. That'll be something to I'm out. <laughs> 